KTN News. The Ministry of Education is once again on the spotlight following rising cases of unrest in schools even as the national exams draw closer. Education authorities say they are still investigating the latest cases that have been reported and Caroline B tells us more in the next report. The dreaded second term curse is once again brewing. Sunday, Chulaimbo High School in Kisumu County became the seventh school in Nyanza to be closed indefinitely, following in the bad examples of Kisumu girls, Nia girls, Maranda High School, Maliera Boys, Ambira High School and Otieno Oyo Secondary School, which was shut down to avert further destruction of property after students rioted. We have taken a few boys to the police whom we feel should be questioned to give more information. This year there has been substantial improvement on managing unrest, which are usually a challenge in our second term. We've not had more than 30 cases of incidences across the country. There has been very minimal number of fires this year. The latest unrest is not only sweeping the Nyanza region, in Baringo County, students in five schools went on rampage. Among them, Ruben Chiriot High School, Majimoto Secondary School, Kisanana High School, Timboroa Secondary School, Rosoga Secondary School, and Tenge's Boys High School, where five dormitories were raised down. In Kamagut High School in Wasingishu County, two dormitories housing more than 150 students went up in flames. Kianguli Mixed Secondary School in Makueni County was also shut down after condoms, phones and paraffin containers were found in the boys' dormitories. Shelby Boys High School in Marsabit County was closed indefinitely after students attacked six non-local teachers, injuring two of them seriously. Nine students have already been charged in court in connection with the violence, as the Teachers' Service Commission plans to transfer 12 non-local teachers from the school. This is a criminal activity and uh, nobody will be spared. The strive has put the Ministry of Education on the spot on the implementation of various reports seeking to find a solution. A report released last year, born out of the 2016 strife that saw over 483 schools experience unrest, cited mock examinations as a problem, giving students pressure to perform. Late May, education stakeholders in Baringo County banned mock exams, citing poor level of preparedness among the students, a likely reason for the constant rampage. However, most schools have not yet implemented the 2017 report, quoting lack of funds. Since the year started, more than 33 schools have witnessed unrest compared to 67 schools last year. In 2016, 239 cases of arson were reported in schools. The Education Ministry has ordered principals to file daily reports of their schools for scrutiny purposes. Even as PS Belio Kipsang insists KCSE examinations will go on as planned, strict exams rules were passed in 2016 to curb irregularities, which caused panic among students, leading to strife. But structures have been put in place to ensure the integrity of examinations this year meets the expectations of the Kenyan people. The ministry has warned that students who cause disturbances and damage of property will be treated as criminals. Caroline B.